In this video, I am going to demonstrate the features of the new Files app on iOS 11. So as you can see right here, here is my iCloud Drive. This is the basic layout that you start out with. You have the ability to see locations, favorites, tags, and the file system of what you're viewing with a big search bar on the top. So let's get started by going into the Documents folder. So I'm going to tap Documents, and then I see the document that I made in one of my other videos. So what I'm going to do is I have many different options I can do with this document. When I press and hold and then release, I get this right-click type contextual menu that appears where I can copy it, rename it, move it, share it, put tags on it, and see its info and delete it. So let's go through a couple of these. So let's start off with info. We get something that looks very familiar to Mac users. It almost looks like the info or the inspector pane that was introduced many years ago. We have the ability to add tags, just like we would on the Mac. And you can see here that I can add any tags. And right here, I'll add, let's say, a red tag. So I tapped red, and now a little red dot has appeared next to it. And I can see a bunch of things about it. Now let's see other features we have. We can share the document. We can click share, and then the share sheet, or the UI activity view controller will appear. And I can see things like the tags. I can share it with other people. You can see my other computers on this. And I can copy it to other apps that are available on the device. I can add people, so on and so forth. And then what I can do is I can do things like rename it. I can simply go to here and I can say iOS 11 demo document. And there we go. It's been renamed. I can also copy it. And now it appears as though I can paste it. By simply tapping and holding on any part of the blank part of the documents, I'm able to see things. I'll first paste, and it says I can replace or I can stop, and I'm going to stop for now. Or I can tap info, and I can see info about this folder. I can create a new folder, such as test. I can move this document into test, simple as drag and drop, and I can paste this document right back into the folder, and you'll see that it'll appear there soon. One of the other things that they've refined is that when you tap on a document, you'll get the quick look. So for instance, I've just tapped on this Word document, and I see a quick look inspection of the document. I have the ability to share the document up in the right-hand corner, and I have the ability to tap done. Now let's try and delete these two folder and documents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap and then I'm going to click delete and for the next one I'm going to click select and then I'll click delete. Now a neat feature of the files app on the iPad is that similar to the feature brought to the Mac last year which was the ability that all of my recently deleted that I had on my Mac on my other iOS devices have already been pre-populated if they were in iCloud Drive and then you can see those other folders that we just talked about are right in the trash. To restore them, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is hover over one and then tap Recover. Tapping Recover will bring it right back to iCloud Drive where I can click Documents and you can see that the document is back in the folder as expected. Now we've been working with this document so it should appear in our Recents. When I tap Recents you can see that this new view comes up where I can see recent documents and I can see tags. And this allows you to keep track of things that you're working on, especially if you're going through many different apps. Although a pain in past versions of iOS, adding an email attachment is now very easy in iOS 11. All I have to do is flick up, see the mail icon, drag it to the right side of the window, and it'll pop up right here. Then what I can do is I can simply highlight over this Word document and drag it right into the mail message. And you can see that right there the attachment is all ready to go. And then to make it disappear, all I have to do, slide to the right as I've done there, and the window disappears and I'm back to the Files app. File locations. Although previous versions of iOS supported this in a way which allowed you to see what pane you were going to receive, whether it was going to be a pane for Google Drive, a pane for OneDrive, a pane for Dropbox, now you can incorporate those all into the Files app. So all you have to do is tap Edit, and when the apps begin to support them under Locations, you will be able to see the other ones that are there. All I have to do is I can disable and I can re-enable. Right now, the only options I have are iCloud Drive and on my iPad, but we can play with those to see what they do. So when I disable iCloud Drive and then I tap Done, you can notice iCloud Drive is gone now. If I also disable on my iPad, 
Now I have no locations to store files that are enabled in the file app. Now I have no locations that are enabled to store files in the files app. One thing that I did notice is that you don't seem to be able to create new tags from this sidebar. You actually have to be looking at a file. So in order to create a new tag, you actually have to go into a location such as iCloud Drive, find a document, tap on the file, click tags, and then you're presented with the ability to add a new tag. In this version of iOS 11, it does not seem like you have the ability to add tags directly from the sidebar. This concludes the demonstration of the Files app on iOS 11.